So lately, I've been learning C++ strictly from making GD mods. I have a couple that I've made. I have this one that I'm currently working on, and I've made another one that's called Flashlight. I just want to help people learn how to mod GD. There's no real videos of people using Geode and, like, teaching how to mod. I'm just gonna basically just be making little mods and showing you guys and explaining the thought process that I have behind making them. So I wanted to do a little simple one. Just make no clip. We're going to be using Geode to make the mod. And if you want to learn how to do it, you just go to the Geode website. You can go to documentation and then you just follow all of the getting started. And then you should get to where I am right now. Geode new. That's going to ask what we want to name the mod since we're making uh, a no clip. Let's make, make it no clip. Versions 1.0. So yes, for 2.204, I'm Zanny, and no description because it's pretty self-explanatory. We got the location, and there you go. So this is the mod that you first get started and set up with. Whenever the on more games button is clicked in the bottom right in the whole screen, it just says hello from my custom mod. And this is the mod loaded up. As you see, if we click the more games button, it just says. Pretty much what I told you before. Now, you might be pretty confused right now on what, what all this means. Just know, we're just going to use this as a base. There's this really helpful GitHub page, and it's the bindings for the classes and all that. You're just going to be using this, like, all the time, right? So, the action that we're actually looking for is something to prevent the player from dying. So, yeah, we're going to want to stop the player from dying whenever it interacts with an object we're gonna want to break it down and find out which layer this whole playing stuff is happening on with another mod actually made by geo developers called the dev tools this is the mod that i'm going to be using we can hit f11 and it opens pretty much like a google chrome inspect the element if we look at the tree we can see we have two layers and the play layer is what we want and the pause layer is obviously when we're paused. And this is the layer that everything is happening on. So we play, this is the layer that it's happening on. So if we go to bindings and we look up class play layer, then we can see that we have this whole class right here. We're gonna need to look for something that kills the player that might be being called whenever the player hits something. Okay, so we can see right here that there is destroy player and it takes player object and game object. Now. To do returns are typically voids. We're gonna start editing this main code that came with the source file. So since we're in the play layer, instead of menu layer, we're gonna do player or play layer. And we're also gonna just change the include to be play layer instead of the menu layer. Now, since we have the whole function right here, we just copy this. And there we go. So now we need to make these parameters more than just this. So we can do P0 and P1. I think actually because it is returning something, it's just instantly killing. Editor note, I talked to somebody about this. It seems like there's a special spike at the beginning of the level and calling destroy player while having the game object as null just makes that spike kill you. It's gonna return nothing. So this is whenever the function's called, there's, there's nothing following it. We're pretty, we hijacked the destroy player function that's in play layer. So now, since we, we hijacked it, and this is the code it's gonna run, which is nothing. So whenever it's called, nothing should happen now. We're not dead yet, that's good. Yep, and there you go. And just going over it again, we found the destroy player under play layer. It's a function of play layer. And the way that we got play layer was using dev tools and finding where this our player was located there wasn't very much info whenever i was trying to learn and i'm still learning i'm very new other than these videos i'm making you can go to there's a couple discord servers you can go to one that i use is gd programming and it's just a very nice community that's very helpful uh if you're looking for something more G just geode you can go to the the geode server they have a geode server specifically dedicated just for geode stuff but yeah, that, that was making our first GD mod, remaking a noclip, a very popular hack. The download link for the mod will be in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.